business um, as a station library um, and they used to rent books out to the commuters on the way up to town. Um, it evolved from renting books to selling rail tickets to coach tickets. Um, Theatre boom came along and we ended up uh, selling trout holidays in the 60s. My earliest memories, I used to help out in the, in the stationery shop, which which remained uh, when they evolved into the travel. I used to um, help out selling books and pens and stationery. Um, and then from there, I ended up coming into the travel on a Saturday to help get the brochures out on the shelf. So there was a huge turnover of brochures. Um, went off to college for a couple of years. Came back not knowing what to do, but knew I liked travel. Um, spent a month in here, and I think it was a time when Freddie Laker was starting his cheap holidays to Barbados, and it seemed exciting times to be involved in travel. I started in 1973, and I worked for uh, Julian's father, Robert. It's a very different shop to the one it is now. Um, just really lots of brochures and everything was done by telephone and just the counter. It's all, you know, pretty basic really, and obviously the offices at the back. I mean, we've been here for so many years since just after the war, so, so we are a big part of the local community. Um, everybody knows this agency, a lot of people have grown up with it and we go out into the community and sometimes give talks to schools and other businesses. Um, so yes, I don't think there's anybody around here who doesn't know how this travel on. Um, I'd like to think that the staff are here because it's a very easy going environment. Um, it's like an extension of my family really. You know, Rose is like a sister and close friend along with Sharon and all the older girls and I think they probably all feel the same the same way where clients certainly get that feeling when they come in. All the staff have been here a long time, with very few exceptions. Um, so they they know the Abbot's ethos, they know how we work, they you know they know what's expected of them, they've got a wealth of experience between them. There's probably you know, between them no country that hasn't been travelled to. And um, so yes, they you know, they're a very tight team. I must admit I was quite frightened of the internet at first and didn't know how, how we, we could embrace it. We hadn't, we've got, as being a middleman, we've got nothing to sell as such on the internet. Um, and our, our business is really, we sell ourselves, is it, all, all of our knowledge is in our brain. It's not something we can, we can, we can uh, access online. And I feared that, you know, we, we would lose a lot of business through uh, the online technology. Fortunately, uh, everyone stayed with us. Both Julian and myself have been in the industry well over 30 years. So since the industry has changed, we felt more of a need to do more for the client. To be able to provide that and just to do some, you know, to make a client book with us really and, and give them reason to book with us, I felt that it was necessary that we needed to build up relationships both with tour operators and hoteliers. So the hotels knew that it was our clients that were coming and that they would see how much business we're giving them and in turn reward the clients by giving them upgrades of rooms, VIP amenities in the rooms, early check-ins, late check-outs. Um, so I took it upon myself to, to put, put myself out there on behalf of the company and to start the networking process because that's the way the industry was going. A client would book with us because from the minute they walk through the door, their experience starts. I mean, I love what I do. I love it. And I love making people happy and making, you know, their dreams come true. Yeah, we, we, we do everything from stags to hens to, to weddings on the ski slopes. We cover everything from sleeping under the stars, uh, sleeping under the northern lights to uh, safaris. 
Building relationships with clients is hugely important in travel. You get to know what they like, where they've been, where they would like to go. Um, they always treat you really nicely. If you've done an amazing job for them, they always buy you a little present to say thank you, which is a really nice touch. Abbott's goes the extra mile for clients. We will do all possible to give them the best holiday. I think customer service in this day and age is one of the most important things. Um, knowing what your client wants, the, suit, the holiday to suit them, the correct destination, um, spending time with them, discovering what they need, I think those reasons are the reasons why we ourselves have won the awards we've won over the last few years and, and carry on being as, as successful as we are. I think we've got a great team. Um, all the girls are great and everybody's knowledge is completely different which makes makes it perfect because there's the right person for the for the right destination. When a customer walks through the door I think they see a row of professional travel agents, smartly dressed, fabulous decor, uh, very min minimal but it pulls people in the office I think. They get surprised, they look from outside and they think mm, you're gonna be very expensive but we're not. We actually beat a lot of prices along, you know, in the travel business. It's very inspiring the shop. Uh, we're a very friendly bunch. Um, we like talking one to one, and we just try to make the clients comfortable. We're not robots. We talk to them as if we've known them for years and make them feel really comfortable. When you work for a multiple agency, you are basically told what to sell. When you come to an independent, it's completely different you've got basically the run of the meal. You can sell whoever you want, which is right for the client. The social media aspect of Abbott's Travel is amazing. We do so much online. I came to the shop one day and I sat down opposite Sophie and told her that I was dreaming about seeing a panda. Within six months, I was traveling through the depths of China and I was lucky enough to see a collection of baby pandas and something that I couldn't wait to get home and tell everybody about. So when I was asked to write a blog post about it for the Abbott's Travel website, I was over the moon. I'm a writer by trade, so the blog post turned into a review of one of our Abbott's Travel showcase events and then that turned into me becoming part of the team. The sales team have a huge amount of experience and between them have explored every region across the globe. So it's taking what they know and then expanding that onto a wider platform. The tone is personal and friendly with the aim of inspiring your next trip and hopefully that comes across when people see what we create online. I'm Danny Sperling, I'm Business Development Manager for Abbott's Travel. One of the things that we've tried to do at Abbott's is to try and recreate the unique personality that the store has. One of the things that impressed me when I was a client of Abbott's was that there's a real personal relationship between the staff and their clients and it's quite unusual to find that online so trying to find our own voice and recreating that online was something that was really important to us as a business. I believe that our role as a travel agent in this day and age is to inspire people to find out and bring to life destinations through the experience that we collectively have and the contacts that we have to be able to create a unique experience. We use the website to inform and educate and hopefully make people laugh and share in the adventures that our clients have been on to as well as our own staff. So we've recently done um, a showcase to Indochina which covered Vietnam and Cambodia. Um, these particular clients were at our event which inspired them to come in and see me to get the quotation. When um, the office opened, the refurbed office a few years back, it was a great environment to be able to showcase some of our um, products and themes. We had a couple of very successful nights here but realised fairly quickly that we were fairly limited in the amount of people that we could get in. We had way more people wanted to attend than we could accommodate. We couldn't um, cater for them so we needed to branch out. It coincided with being approached by Chigwell Golf Club who we know very well. Several of their members have been clients of ours for a long time and we felt a mutual partnership with them would be hugely advantageous both for their members and also for ourselves too. It's so important that we get feedback from uh, clients that have just recently been on a trip um, so that we can pass on their knowledge and their 
experiences onto our next client that we get. We get lots of feedback um, from clients that have travelled and we have an area on our website where we have lots of testimonials from people where they've had the most amazing holidays um, and, and love to write about them and, and give that experience to everybody else and so that everybody else can read where they've been and some of the different places and the experiences are incredible. Well, as a business owner, uh, needless to say, time is precious. Uh, so it's important that I get the business trip nailed down as soon as I make up my mind that I'm going. So I find that I come in to see Julian at Abbott's Travel and uh, tell him roughly what I want to do. And I can rely on him to sort out the itinerary and make sure that it's all done at the right uh, price. And all the bookings are made and I don't have to worry about it. Friends of ours always book on the internet. <laughs> and they're never, and they, they're never happy with the result. So we keep saying to them, why don't you go to a travel agent, go to a reputable travel agent? Well, the staff in Abbott's are fantastic. They actually know us very well. They know what we like. We never look at a brochure. We just say to them, we like to go somewhere where we haven't been before. And they come up with an itinerary and suggestions as to where we should go. They find out what you want, they, they cover it, they more or less have been to all the places that you want to go, they know about the places, the experts and travel, and you get a much better response from them. In fact, some of our friends have actually now ditched the internet and come to the travel agents and a lot of our friends now come here to Abbott's. I just find everybody here so helpful, really passionate, so in love with travel and you can see that by when they're talking to you, when you hear them talking to customers. Um, I love how they, they're striving all the time to make sure that they've got the perfect match um, and they're never too shy to pick up the phone or drop me an email and say can you do this, what do you that, which room, uh, which hotel do you think I should go to and I just love the their sort of passion and enthusiasm. Jane and I have used Abbott's Travel at least once a year for the last four or five years. Uh, we've got to know all the girls, we fully trust them, uh, they know exactly what sort of requirements we like. Uh, I'm in a wheelchair. My name is Lee Marshall and I'm Partnership Director for Western and Oriental. We we love working with Abbott's Travel. It's been one of our most long-standing relationships. We love this business because it mixes traditional business values looking after the customer. We also love the way that they innovate. They're one of the brightest marketeers in the industry. Very proactive in what they do and the way they talk to their clients. But that's always underpinned by a care for customer service. And that's something that sits very well with us. They're a great business, they're a fantastic bunch of people. And in our industry we work very heavily on trust. And these guys are people that absolutely place their customers at everything that's central of what they do.